I want to talk about opening new doors and how it can fuel your dreams. I hear this a lot. I mean, have you ever thought about that? That you have some dreams you want to have and you don't know quite how to get them, can't quite figure it out. You're out there searching. Trust me on this one. It's not difficult to do because every single person on the planet is searching for something. And only those who dream a little bit bigger and are willing to go knock on a couple of doors, get it and get it to happen. Most people are going to settle, by the way. And you know what? If you ask a woman about getting married, the number one thing all her friends will say, do you love them? Don't settle, right? Most people are settling for life. Are you? So one of my favorite questions always is, if I can't figure out what I'm going to do, if I don't even know what I want to go after in terms of my dreams, and sometimes I get confused too, I have checked off so much off my bucket list, I have to sit down and find new things that excite me because I just continue to knock them down. But one of my favorite questions is, what can't I do? Have you ever in a in a crazy moment, maybe a panic moment, said, what can I do? I bet you said it to somebody else, what can I do for you, huh? It's a natural question, and it's one you can use to your advantage. If you're stuck today in your job, if you're stuck today in a relationship, if you're stuck somewhere, it doesn't really matter what it is, if you will say to yourself, what can I do? And then answer yourself. You might be surprised what happens, no matter how challenging the situation. Answer that question will always reveal a clear path. Come here a little closer. Let me just remind you of something as well about that clear path. You might not like it. <laughs> it might be kind of uncomfortable because I can pretty well guarantee that clear path is going to be out of your comfort zone. But that's exactly where you want to go. If you're in your comfort zone, but it's not so comfortable anymore, wouldn't you rather get out of it and go to another comfort zone? Hmm. Just asking. Scott watching. Pow. So as I navigate the world, as you navigate this new world that we're in, um, we hear lots of people asking all kinds of great questions as well. Um, I have clients who are with me at these days, one day a week, but yeah, they used to be with me five days a week. And they asked me the question too. So, man, I just don't know what's going on with my life. I want my future. And I will say, what can you do? When you open a new door, a new opportunity will come your way. Start opening more doors. Now, feeling empowered, which is what I want you to feel in a world where your energy is being drained like a Tesla on a cross-country trip without charging stations, it's pretty difficult. But if you want to ensure you're never running low, remember that your dreams, your possibilities, your potential, and, and feeling of certainty are all powered by new opportunity. Way long time ago, going back, uh, oh God, too long. I was 18 years, yeah, I was 18 years old. And my future mother-in-law at the time locked me out of the house. That was it. She locked me out. What, I was sitting around. I was kind of dating her daughter, and I was thinking, okay, this is more fun, hanging by the pool and listening to some music and having some fun. Why go start my career? Why do that? Besides, it's hard for me to... I, I, I sent out a couple of resumes, sent out a couple of letters. Somebody was hiring me. And one day she said, stand up. I said, what? She said, take a step. I said, what? No, she didn't say that. She said, stand up. Get out that door. I said, what? And I walked out the door. That's all she said. I walked out the door and she closed it. And from behind the door, she goes, go knock on somebody else's door until you get a job. Now, that's very good parental advice. I'm not sure you can do it these days. Probably against the law someplace. But I didn't like it at all. And I think I moped my way back to my efficiency in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and thought about it for a minute. And so I said, I did go, mm, Scott, what can I do? I want a new opportunity. I need a new opportunity. Because there's a girl back there I want to get. I want to, I want to marry her, and I'm not going to be allowed to even get back in the house if I don't get a job, right, Kenda? So I did. I started banging on doors. And eventually I got a job, and I got hired. It was cool. And I never forgot it. I banged on doors forever. And if we go forward about 25 years after that, I was at a job one day, and I decided I couldn't sit there 9 to 5 doing the job. I was at a radio station. I couldn't sit there all day long doing the job because they only needed me for a couple hours a day. And to Scott, it was like, well, how do you sit there all day and do this? I was stuck. I was unmotivated. I didn't like where I was. I had to change it. And I decided to quit. But basically, I locked myself out. I walked into the office to my boss and I said, hey, I'm going to leave you. Uh, he said, well, how can you leave me? You get a paycheck every two weeks. It's a good job. It's a good office. You love being in radio. How can you leave me? And I said, well, I don't like sitting here all day. And I feel like there's more that I can do in my life. So I'm just going to figure it out. He said, how are you? Uh, 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 uh. Let me stop you for a second. Between here and home is about 30 minute drive. 
There are thousands and thousands of businesses along the way. Right now, someplace along the way, there is somebody who needs my particular skill set. There is somebody who literally has a checkbook and is thinking, where is the guy that's going to help fix my world? Where is the guy that will change my life? I need something done. I don't even know who to call. Who am I going to call? That guy's there. I walked out that day. That door slammed behind me and did stop at a business on the way home and did write that contract. Thought there may be a possibility. Maybe that's why I made the leap. But I opened that door and since then I have stopped worrying about it basically and I've continually opened brand new doors and I think that's what you need to do today so I'm going to put you on a homework assignment today if you can't close the door behind you can you at least go knock on a new one and open it up somebody you can call somebody you can see something you can do is it something that can move you forward today that maybe you've been putting off for a long long time because I promise you if you get in the habit of opening those new doors those new opportunities every single day your life will change faster then you know, because most people do not do it. They just take one, write it out for 20 years, and take another. I say take a new one every day.